Welcome to Trading Lounge and today we're going to look at the US dollar and the euro dollar uh, and that's it as the US markets have been closed. We've seen all the secondary pairs just pretty much traveling sideways in triangle patterns um, but I think if we stay with the main game here and that is that uh, we're looking for a stronger US dollar and stronger stock as well. Uh, so in this case we're looking at wave one here, ABC for wave two. Uh, and looking at wave three moving higher here. Within that, we're looking for the five waves, as you know. So wave one, wave two here, uh, and then up into wave three, which will be longer than wave one. Um, so um, at the moment, as you know, we've been in wave two here. Uh, until this is actually finished, uh, then all the other markets that are rallying or pulling back or whatever, uh, you know, are just going to be doing the same. So uh, in this particular instance here, we know that the A wave here is satisfactory. The B wave has pulled back the 61.8% mark and we're looking for wave C, which will be uh, in five waves. Now, uh, it doesn't always pull back to the 61.8% mark, which is the lower end of this box here. Um, we've also got the um, the 95 here as well as support, which will come into play. Uh, in fact, and also this trend line coming through here. So it's somewhere in here, you know, and um, and it may not even reach there as well. But until we see a change in trend, and this what I mean by that is that this a b and c wave here until we see a change in trend as say this high here being taken out here then this market is still going to be traveling down so it's still going to see the euro higher and so on so as we drill in here and try to get some sort of bearing and understanding on this particular uh, structure here we'll just go to the two hour chart first so we could say and see that from this high here, the good old fashioned trend line can come in quite handy with this as well. So we could just be looking at a move coming down to touch this trend line here and then moving off from there. But in one way or another, we still need to see this move down here before we see a move up. It just depends on how far sideways it's going to go uh, will dictate how far it comes down to this trend line. So where all these meet here is probably you know a reasonable um, uh, place to, uh, to, to look at. But even then, once it gets there, we'll still need to understand the structure. So understanding from wave B down to C here, we'd be looking at five waves for that and on the 15 minute chart here um, so from wave B uh, up here I was thinking um, that this high here um, would leave this as wave one and wave two here then wave three and then wave four uh, and then down for wave five here. So it's possible that this is just wave one here, and then we've got the A, the B, and the C for wave two here. Um, so, that, I mean, that would be a practical approach for this, but that would still leave, um, you know, more downside here. It would still leave wave three to be completed and wave four and wave five. So, you know, it's quite plausible that we actually come down into the lower end of this particular structure here as well so um yeah but i mean the main point here to understand is that while this high here where this wave two is in while that's in play here this market um will move lower and that would leave the euro of course to uh to, to move higher so um yeah that's pretty much the direction of it at this stage and this would you know this also affects um you know the Australian market as well, the the Asian crosses as well, of course. Um, so until this is until this wave C down through here is actually completed, then the current situation that we're looking at with markets are um, you know are, are still the same really. There's no we're looking for a change in trend, but we don't have it yet. It's as simple as that. So um, we need for this to to play out. So I would only be wrong if the if this high was taken out here. So that's a pretty simple line in the sand, so to speak. So following the current trend that you're looking at, whatever market would be correct. So looking at uh, the euro dollar here. Just cutting in on the two hour chart here. And since the last time we spoke here, we were looking for, um, we, well, we had this low of wave B in here, which may or may not be correct. Um, I'm just looking at it 
in a practical, logical way in terms of an A wave up here, a B wave here, five waves for the C wave here of the A wave, the B wave uh, here, and then we'd be looking for five waves up here. So um, yeah, so you know, while that US dollar index is is moving down, um, and in, not not in a very sort of readable fashion, by the by, so it's not making it easy. But uh, at the same time, we need to pretty much just continue what we're doing here and looking for this market to move up higher. Now we we could short this at, at particular points, but of course. Um, the logical one would be 1.11 here as a retested resistance, and um, you know that's that's not that's not the case just yet, is it? This market is uh, has found that as support and is moving higher. Will it move up into this area here? Is the um, you know to the 61 the second lot of the 61.8 percent is 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 the real question here? Um, so um, just drilling into this on a 15 minute chart here. Just squashing it up for a moment so you can get our bearing. So, you know, I've labeled the B wave very simple and sharp here. And um, like I said, I'm not quite sure if that's the case just yet. We're still uh, in the guessing game area for that. But um, as it counts in a practical form we've got wave one up here wave two here wave three here wave four here and wave five here in fact i remember last time we spoke in the video about taking this high out here for the for a long trade here um obviously it's been sort of sluggish because of the u.s holidays and and so on but um it's still you know it's still plodding along in its in its in its right pathway here. So from this low here, if we consider this five waves up here and then the ABC for the 50%, 50-60% retracement level or closest largest number, then we can look at this here as, as wave one and two and three um, moving in here. So we'd still expect three, four and five here. So this market can still work higher into this area up here which is that 61.8 percent mark here so we wouldn't turn bearish unless we had that 1.1 here uh in play in terms of um resistance here so unfortunately as uh as as lazy as this all is here to the upside uh we still need to to uh to, to play that out here so look that's how it is. Um, there's no change in trend since this has become the support here and what's been occurred with the other, with the US dollar index. Now, all the crosses, the pound yen and all, all the rest of them, they're just really sort of traveling sideways as well. Um, but they will lift in their own little way further to the upside in, in, in line with the uh, euro here for the short term while that US dollar index is, uh, is, is pushing down somewhat. So um, we'll just leave it at that. Let's just allow the US markets, the equity market to uh, equity and bonds and whatnot to come back on online and um, let's see where they pick up from, from that point. So look, not a lot to do or say really, uh, no movement. So the, the movements are in the commodities markets. Alrighty, cheers.